Welcome, and thanks for joining me for Pathfinder Kingmaker. So we're in our throne room, and don't really have an objective other than working on our kingdom. So that's what we're going to keep doing. Maybe we'll, uh, we'll skip some time ahead and see if anything pops up that we can work on. We've got some new issues. Visitor in the castle. Okay. Edrist Hanvaki. A young man wearing fancy clothes with delicate features and perfect posture gives you a precisely measured light bow. Your grace, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Edrist Hankavi. I beg you to give me a moment of your precious time. Thank you for honoring me with your visit. To what do I owe the pleasure? A surprised expression appears on the young man's face, but he conceals it behind a polite smile. Such flawless courtesy. I can see you are a true noble, unlike some impostors from the River Kingdoms. Let me get straight to the point of my visit, for it is the matter of utmost importance. A tragedy has brought me here, one that has been looming over my family for a while, or perhaps one that has already come to pass. You see, Your Grace, two months ago my elder brother, Toman Havanki, went, went missing. Hanvaki went missing. After leaving Gralton, where our family resides, he headed northwest. His destination, as we found out later, was a village called Barnhold, but he never arrived there. Your capital is the last place he was seen alive. We don't know where he is or whether he's still alive. Our poor father is losing his head in grief. Please help us to learn something about the fate of my brother, and you'll gain an eternally, an eternally loyal ally. <laughs> oh, those lawfully evil responses. Man. Execute him. Tell me about your brother. Our family, no matter how venerable, has always carried a spirit of adventurousness, if you will, in our blood, a thirst for risk and exploits. Each generation has had its own daredevil who left all he owned and went chasing after some ghostly treasures, completely ignoring the tears of his loved ones. I'm afraid this family curse has befallen my brother now. If only I knew exactly he was looking for or where exactly he was going. Sadly, all I've managed to learn was the name of some village out in the middle of nowhere, Farnhold, along with the fact that my brother never arrived there. Tell me about your family. The Hanvakis are an ancient family with a long history, hailing back to the days before Gralton's founding. Unfortunately, our wealth has been depleted by a series of reckless ventures, like the one my brother is partaking in right now. Family archives, some heirlooms, and our honor, these are all the treasures our once influential house has come to possess. See what I can do. And honestly, it's nice to have something to do, so we're definitely going to look into it. Lost Brother. The Varnhold Vanishing. Okay. There are two types of people in this world. There's the type of person who, upon hearing of hungry monsters roaming the ruins of a lost civilization, immediately picks up their backpack and makes their way there. Then there's the other type. People who hear the same thing and get a chill down their spine. Pour themselves a cup of cocoa and snuggle down by the fireplace. The noble house of Hanvaki mainly consists of the second type, but there are the occasional daredevils among them, eager to leave the mundane life behind to go out in search of adventure. Okay, cool. We have something to do. We did have another thing pop up here, so let's see what that was. See if we need to put somebody on it. Rumor has it that conflicts between members of different races have intensified in the region. More and more complaints have been received, but the local guards deny everything. The situation demands action before it becomes violent. Oh, 50%. Okay, let's put one of those on there. All right. So that said that he'd been last no seen here in the capital. 
It's headed to Varnhold. So I don't know if that means we need to investigate things here at the capital a bit first. Or head out towards Varnhold. So we could talk to people and see if they'd seen anything up in. Maybe just go to the tavern. Let's take the little the street here that leads to the tavern. While I'm thinking about it, I was just curious where we're at. Okay, we've got a long ways to go until we level up. Um, let's see if these guys saw anything. Why don't you explain why you're staring at me like that? Oh, Uncle, when are you going to change that old armor? The magic beasts crumpled it so badly it makes me cry to look at it. We well, still have a lot to learn. If only you knew how many times it saved my life in that battle. Highland turns to you. Greetings, Your Grace. Okay. It is done. I think I just want to go we'll stop in the tavern and check with the the tavern keeper lady, Alina. Is that her name? Might see if she's uh, getting in anywhere with Akun. She was pretty interested in him. Alina seems to be brooding. She tugs at the seam of her apron and looks at you with uncertainty. Your Grace, I wouldn't want to bother you, but if you have a spare moment, I'd like to ask you something. Okay, what did you want to ask me? Your Grace, the city is getting rebuilt after the bloom, but the people survived such terror. I know almost all of them, and I see in their eyes what that nightmare did to them. And I thought, I thought we should cheer them up somehow. I can make a special treat for everyone, but I can't do it alone. The thing is, I have a very special family recipe, which I'm sure the locals would love. It's, now don't laugh, it's an omelet. <laughs> an omelet? Okay. We said we wouldn't laugh. Made from a rock's egg. This bird is not really a bird, but a huge monster that lays eggs very rarely. They're considered a royal treat. Only a few people in all the Stolen Lands have ever tried one. If we treat the people to this delicacy, the whole neighborhood will be buzzing about it for months. And what could be better medicine for their fear and sorrow than something fresh to boast about? I know there's a rock that lives on Talon Peak, but it is a dangerous place. I offered a reward, but none of the hunters I know will risk going there. But I know you could handle it, Your Grace. I know it's no task for a baron, but there's no one else to ask. Yeah, we'll get you that egg. So, during the celebration in the forest, you kept staring at Akun, giving him a certain look. Oh, of course I did. Akun's a handsome man, and he's hardworking. He's got no bad habits. He's got friends in high places, and his gaze is so mysterious. And he's so quiet. If you could only imagine, Your Grace. Okay, you heard any other news? Oh, stop, Your Grace. You know the news around here. Nothing strange is happening. We're rebuilding the city, getting back on our feet. Oh, and we've changed the name of the end, did you see? Come back soon, Your Grace. No one can treat you better than me. Um, I did not see the name of the inn. There's someone somewhere I can see that. Okay, so I think we'll head out. Uh, so now we have another quest too to find an egg. We'll see where that is on the map in comparison to the direction we need to head towards Barnhold. Is it called? 
Talon, Talon something. Talon Peak. Yeah, it's actually kind of on, at least, at least the same direction. So let's, like, to get to Varnhold, like we just had, we had to head this way and then some guards intercepted us. So maybe we can head towards Talon Peak. Try to avoid these enemies. Failed to sneak past. Okay, that's okay. You make an epic pose. I need inspiration. Got bandits. Both ways. Um. I'll send Jethel down here. Yeah, I think we'll send Ragongar up here. Greet these. They should have trouble with him with the mirror image on. Uh, Harim. Just a bone shatter over on this bandit. Nice. Okay, let's send a fireball this way now. Take care of both of them. Didn't even need you over there, Ragongar. He's fatigued. Figured we'd camp before we 
enter this Talon Peak anyway. Oh, here's one actually we haven't claimed. Harper Rock. My strength betrays me. Yeah, let's make camp. Can we cook anything else? Kind of low on ingredients. We can do the onion soup. don't understand why you entertain your flesh with base pleasures. They fade quickly, leaving only a headache and a bad taste in your mouth. Wouldn't it be better to ponder the eternal? Hey, I think about eternity. Unless the priests are lying, I'll go to Elysium after I die, to an eternal feast with Callistria. You think I drink too much and sleep around? Well, imagine what goes on at the feast of the goddess of lust. <laughs> you know, I like all these little banters, but I wish they would have taken the the voice acting work for all of these and put them into some of the other dialogue that I have to read for the those characters. We could check out Arbor Rock first. I kind of want to head right for this peak, though. Oh. Can't, actually. Maybe we should have stopped here. Another resource we can claim. Hilltop Trail. Okay, let's be a little bit more deliberate here. We might as well check this out. Not like we really have a huge list of things to do, so... Take our time. Adventures we'll have them. Lindsay put blur on Jethel. Before we get to something. Kind of a path. So yeah. No stopping now. We've got a, an entrance there. It's like that's the way to go. Give me a dragon. Some monster. Onwards. Medium Earth Elemental. Ooh. Huge earth elemental. Okay, let's see what we got. Time for fun. Immune to sleep, paralyzed, and stunned. Ithel was almost out of range for that. Well, it didn't say that fire immunity. Let's see what this does. Oh, that was decent. <laughs> Cool looking. What is the rigging on it from? Is that just 
from the fire. Or we. Any last wishes? Pretty short work of this thing. For us down here. Oh, anything is possible. Still have that on. Oh. Okay. Well, it's good we just Follow took me. care of that while we were in the neighborhood. Don't want any earth elementals causing anyone else trouble. Mercenary superior. <laughs> we need we needed his help at one time. Now he's pretty much just relegated to the tavern. If I tick this box, it doesn't mean it won't show any tutorial. I don't know, I'm tired of seeing that one. This actually leads back somewhere. My strength betrays me. Yeah. Resting would be nice, don't you think? Okay, we'll rest before we go in there. Why are you staring at me? Do you see the shadow? Yeah, because like this stuff. No, I see really just want this to be over like place to put the voice acting was not here in my opinion okay hilltop trail enter Oh, this looks like it, is done. it could be a really large space. I wrote it like Let's I go ahead and do this. No stopping now. Oh, it's not not large at all. Another another cave entrance. Let's see what's down here first. It's just an alternate route. Something else over here. March on. 
No, it's not even alternate routes, just a dead end. Top trail. Dwemer cat is no stopping now. Not our friendly Dwemer cat, though, is it? Interesting how they were just fixated on Amiri there. Like, I just curious how that happens. It's just a uh, random who they decide they're gonna focus on. Your life ends low. got down here is two cats oh we've got an entrance to other world follow me which means probably something difficult world it's cool that we keep coming back to this area at different different points so there's it's, it's, I guess we can only go one way here no stopping now Onwards. Body. It's never a good sign. Racers. Racers of armor plus five. That's what he's got on. I think he's the only one that can really make use of those. March on. And then our leader charged oh, forwards. Uh, hey, wait for me. Whammer well, Lion. Well, that's not cool though. The weak suffer. I endure. That's not cool at all. He's, he's wrecked for Gongar. We're not prepared for that. You deserved it. You're gonna have to haste since Ragongar's down. I don't understand how this breath of life works. Bring recently slain creatures back to life. Cast upon a creature that has died within two rounds. Apply the healing from this spell to the creature. 
The old creature's hit point total is at a negative amount less than its constitution score comes back to life. Creature's hit point total is at a negative amount equal to greater. I'm going to read the rest of that. I guess I can't hear. I, I thought I tried using this another time well, when he Gonger had actually died. Did not appear to work then, but maybe that was different. At least cast it. Nice. Okay. Not sure why he's laying down again. I guess was he tripped or something? Before? He's just gonna kill him again. Death comes. Unworthy. Try grasp of the dead. Oh no, let's let's do bone shatter. Nope. Well, I guess we can try healing him again. Or not? But we can't. He's. Just too far gone. I guess since he's at death's death's door, we can't heal him. So that's where Breath of Life worked to raise him, but we can't just do normal healing. Okay. What a waste. Any last wishes? A couple good hits from Lindsay. Uh, so we weren't able to land the bone shatter last time. Let's just see fireball here. Nope. So he must have some pretty good spell resistance. Uh oh. He's bringing in friends. Should have known it wouldn't be just a blown Dwemer lion. He's about dead though. What's the plus? Love that damage reduction on Deo. Wretched things. Let's see if Lindsay can finish oh, off the big I one. Nice. Okay. Now let's, let's move you back a little bit. I love that five foot move. I can't believe it took me so long to learn about that. I may never have. 
if someone hadn't pointed it out to me. Bring it! Become as dust. Ouch. Ow. Ow. Despicable. See, how about bone shatter on this one? Yeah. Tear them apart. Repent. Okay. A reckoning is at hand. The Gongar really took some beating there, but. Everybody else is all right. Amulet, Let's see what that was. Mighty fists plus two unarmed attacks. Guessing that's all that was here, but we maybe shouldn't assume that. It is done. Now our only it kind of sucks now that Ragongar's death's door. For our visit to Talon Peak, but hopefully you can manage. Okay, back through here. Just letting the She's intro. still <laughs> not turned off. Well, we're probably going to be camping out here anyway. No stopping now. Lindsay's got big feet. I never noticed that before. Kind of got some large hands there too. But this doesn't actually get us to Talon Peak. Interesting. So how do we get there? I don't think there any of these had offshoots to that point. Strength betrays me. Okay, let's make camp. Amiri has been doing a good job camp one. with the hunting. So we haven't Keep used any rations. Me. I don't meddle in your business, so don't try getting too close. We'll see what you say when life is draining from you, drop by drop. I guess it's at that moment it becomes an easy choice: become undead or become worm food. I mean, it is kind of cool the the banter back back and forth between them. It's different from just the conversation that we have with them. Okay, so from here can we keep? No, we can't go that way. 
So, huh. I wonder if we have to get there from Varnhold. Well, we need to investigate the direction of Varnhold anyway. For uh, Han Hanik, Hanvaki, Tomen. that say about the rock's egg? Talon Peak. Yeah, we had to figure out how to get to Talon Peak. Well, I think I'm going to save it here, and then next time we'll, we'll keep heading towards Varnhold and see if we run across the trail of this lost brother. Um, it is, I mean, it's more than just an errand. So, um, I don't know, there may be more that we have to figure out before we can fly into this guy. Or more uh, deliberate searching around the capital. Talking to m more people there. But we'll, we'll try this first next time. Thanks for being here and watching. I really appreciate it. And I really hope to see you again. Bye-bye.